and thank the Lord. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Obadiah verse number 17. <laughs> I'm not going to preach. I'm just going to lead you through some prayers and begin to pray for you and release deliverance. We've already had a time of praise and worship. And then the word, of course, also breaks the power of demons and devils. Demons hate worship. They hate the word. They hate the presence of God. Obadiah verse 17 says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And then in verse 21, the last verse of the book, it says, and saviors or deliverers shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. We're doing a lot of teaching on Zion and one of the characteristics of Zion is deliverance. In verse 17, it says, upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And then of course, in verse 21, it says that saviors or deliverers shall come up on Mount Zion. So Zion is not only a place of deliverance, it is also a place of deliverers. God wants every believer to receive deliverance and also to be a deliverer. And then in verse 21, it ties in Mount Zion to the kingdom. It says the kingdom shall be the Lord's. So Zion is also a place of the kingdom, a place of authority, a place of power, a place of deliverance, and a place of deliverers. Many of you have gone through mass deliverance before. I don't think we've ever done it on a Sunday. But we're going to do it this Sunday because I wanted everyone to get a chance to get prayer. And before we do, there's some things we need to pray about. Demons will hold on to anything in your life that they can to remain. And we need to make sure that everything that the enemy would hold on to is eliminated. And we need to be able to say like Jesus that the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me. No ground to attack, no ground to hold on to. One of the major things that I deal with in praying for people who need deliverance is that first and foremost, you must want to be delivered. You must have a desire to be delivered. You must exercise your will against the enemy. There's nothing the devil can do once you decide and you repent and decide you want to be set free. No matter how difficult your life has been, if you will make a decision now that not only will I be delivered, but deliverance will be a part of my lifestyle. Deliverance is not a one-time event. It's a part of your lifestyle. That whenever you need to be set free from something, you're willing to allow the Lord to take it away from you. And so today we're going to pray for a lot of different things and believe God for deliverance. But first, I need you to agree with me that you will receive deliverance today. And if you're not saved, if you're here today and you're backslidden or you're away from God, the first thing you need to do is you need to repent. The word repent simply means to change the way you think and to turn your life around. Make a decision. Repent and believe the gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation, unto deliverance. The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ has come. He has died. He was raised again from the dead. He rose again. He ascended. He sits on the right hand of God the Father. And that through his death and resurrection, your sins can be forgiven. And all the powers of hell can be broken off of your life. One of the major things that demons hold on to is sin. If you have sin in your life, demons will be with, with that sin. And so let's pray this prayer together. I want you to just bow your head and you can close your Bibles and just get ready to say these prayers with me. I'm going to share some things about unforgiveness and breaking curses, but first we're going to deal with any sin that may be in your life. Repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ came and died. I believe that he became sin for me. I believe he took my sins 
upon himself on the cross. And because of his blood, my sins are forgiven. I claim the blood of Jesus for cleansing from my sins and all my iniquities. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. I repent of anything, any way of thinking, any lifestyle that is contrary to the word of God. I turn away from it. And I ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive me for any sin that I've committed knowingly or unknowingly. I repent. I ask for forgiveness. And I receive cleansing today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want any woman that has had an abortion, I want you to pray this with me. And I want you to do it. We're going to do it in a way that no one has to know that you've ever done this. So let's all pray this together, even if you've never been involved in one. Say this. Say, Heavenly Father, I join my brothers and sisters in repentance for all abortion, any murder that we have committed against unborn children in the name of Jesus. Lord, forgive our society and forgive us if we have shed innocent blood. I break the curse of murder, the curse of the vagabond, curses of guilt, shame, and condemnation in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any spirit of death that would follow my life because of an abortion in the name of Jesus I renounce these spirits and I command them to leave me in Jesus name now say this to me say heavenly father you said in your word whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord it shall be delivered I call upon the name of Jesus I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe that he was buried and on the third day he rose again. I believe he ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God. I believe he is coming again. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe that Jesus is my deliverer. In the name of Jesus, I call upon you, Lord, to deliver me and set me free from any spirit in my life that is operating, that is against your will. I break all ungodly soul ties that I have with any person that I've sinned with or been involved with that is not serving you. In the name of Jesus, I loose myself from every assignment of hell, every spirit of darkness. And in the name of Jesus, I tell the enemy, I belong to Jesus. You cannot stay in my life. I remind you that you are defeated. You have been spoiled. Your power has been broken. And through the Holy Ghost, I believe that today... I will receive deliverance for my life. I command every hidden spirit that would hide in my life. You must be exposed. You cannot stay. I do not want you. I want to be free. I want to live holy. I want to live clean. I am saved. I am a child of God. You have no right to operate in my body, in my mind in my soul and in the area of my life I renounce you you cannot stay against my will but you must leave in the name of Jesus I believe today that deliverance is the children's bread I am a child of God deliverance belongs to me I have a right to it and by faith I receive it today in Jesus' name, amen. How many believe God today? Amen. Now, just before we start, we're going to have workers that will go through and pray for people. You don't necessarily have to have a worker praying for you. 
Um, only thing I ask is those in the balcony. We don't want anybody coming down. We don't want no manifestation. So we need some ushers up on that balcony in the front to make sure no one does anything crazy in the balcony. Like try to get to me from the balcony. It's a long jump. You won't make it. Huh? Okay, we need some deacons to help out upstairs, if we can, please. And then the second thing I'll ask you is that when you use your paper towels, let's be, let's be um, courteous. We don't want to leave all our stuff in here. We want to clean up when we leave. Did everybody hear me? Okay, make sure we do that. We don't want to leave paper towels all over the floor and you think somebody else is supposed to do it. So make sure you pick up and we'll have some garbage things and available for you. Um, for those paper towels if you need it, okay? Now, I want you to relax. I want you to receive. I'm going to pray. You're going to receive. I'm going to call out a lot of different spirits because I call it out, of course, doesn't mean you have it. But, you know, don't pick and choose what you have. Be open. Because sometimes the enemy can be in our lives and we don't even know it. So don't sit there and wait for your demon to be called, the one you think you may have. You may not have any. I'm not, I'm not trying to put anything in you. I don't know what you have, but... I know that deliverance is, 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 is the right of God's people. And if you need a paper towel, you can raise your hand and they'll make sure you're waited on. Amen. So let's, let's begin to pray. Father, I thank you for everyone here. Just relax. And devil, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over you. And I, I, I command you as I call your name or family name, you will manifest. You will come out of hiding and you will come out of these people in the name of Jesus. These are children of God. You have no right to be in their life. They belong to Jesus. They've renounced you. The curses have been broken. They've repented. They've prayed. And you have no legal ground to stay in their life. And as I call your name or family name, you will manifest and you will come out of them. You will obey and through the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray for angels to even come into this building. I bind every strong man in the heavenlies. I bind every principality and power that would try to block, hinder, or obstruct anyone from receiving deliverance. I cut the cords of communication and I lose confusion into the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I bind every demon that would try to hinder anyone from receiving their deliverance. And through the power of the Holy Ghost, as I call you out, you must manifest and you must leave in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for delivering us from all rejection. And in the name of Jesus, you've made us accepted in the beloved. And through the blood of Jesus, I made acceptable unto God. And so in the name of Jesus, I begin to command demons of rejection and fear to begin to manifest and come out. I command the strong man of rejection to be bound. I break the curses of rejection and I, I rebuke the spirits of rejection and even generational rejection that came from their mother or from their father. I command inherited and, and hereditary rejection to begin to manifest and to come out. Even spirits that make them feel unloved and unwanted. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to manifest and go now in the name of Jesus. Rejection, self-rejection, even rejection from the mother's womb. Children that were unwanted by their parents. Children that were even considered to be aborted. Or children that were adopted or cast away by their parents. I command rejection from the mother, rejection from the father. I command spirits of rejection to come out in the name of Jesus. Fear of rejection, fear that no one will accept me. I command those demons that make them feel unloved, unwanted. Nobody loves me because of my color, because of my gender, because of the way I look, because of the way I talk. I command all rejection of any form to manifest and leave in the name of Jesus. I command the demon of self-rejection to come out. Those who even reject themselves and even self-hatred. I command that spirit of insecurity, inferiority, and low self-esteem to come out. Those that look down upon themselves because others have looked down upon them. I command you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth to leave now and to come out. Come out now. Go. Low self-esteem, inferiority, and insecurity. Demons of insecurity. And I come against the kingdoms of fear. Fear of rejection, fear of people, fear of man. 
fear of the pastor, fear of authority, fear of dying, fear of witchcraft, fear of cancer, fear of being laughed at, fear of being talked about, fear of being mistreated, fear of being raped, fear of being molested, fear of being rejected, fear that people won't like you, fear of crowds, fear of large churches, fear of getting involved. All demons of fear come out. All you spirits of fear that torment them manifest and go. Fear of being alone, fear of the dark, fear of being raped, fear of being molested. I command all spirits of rape and molestation to come out of any woman that's been raped or molested by their loved ones, by, by fathers, by stepfathers, by boyfriends, by uncles, by cousins. I command those spirits of rape, molestation, and perversion. I even command the demons of incest to come out. In the name of Jesus, leave now. I command spirits of lust that come in through rejection. I command demons of masturbation and pornography. I command demons of adultery and, and fornication to go. I command demons of homosexuality and lesbianism to come out. I command demons of lasciviousness, uncleanness and, and lust to leave. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh manifest and go. I command spirits of prostitution, whoredom, leave in the name of Jesus. All demons of sexual impurity come out. I command demons of guilt, shame, and condemnation that make them feel guilty, ashamed, and condemned of, of what they've done. I command those demons to leave. I command lust in the family bloodline to come out. I command demons of generational lust, hereditary lust, manifest and go. All you spirits of lust and hiding in the stomach, the heart, the eyes, the genitals, come out of there in Jesus' name. Come out of the chest, the spine, the mouth, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. Wherever you're hiding, you demons of lust and perversion, manifest and go. Come out, manifest all you demons of lust, perversion that are linked to fear and rejection. Come out. Now I command the demons of hurt and deep hurt to come out. I command demons of broken heart, sadness, crying, grief, leave in Jesus' name. I command spirits of deep hurt, wounded spirit, broken heart. I command demons of mistreatment and abuse to come out. Manifest those that have been abused by people, talked about, laughed at, come out in the name of Jesus. I command spirits of hurt and deep hurt, wounded spirit, broken heart, sadness, grief, crying, loneliness, come on out of there depression, sadness, grief, loneliness, suicide, go, heaviness, go, leave in Jesus' name, discouragement, come out, discouragement, I don't want to live for God, I don't want to serve God, I'm tired of serving God, leave in Jesus' name, come on, you demons of discouragement, go, go, go. You demons of discouragement, you demons of frustration, you demons of failure, you demons of suicide, you demons of depression, you demons of sadness, you demons of loneliness, go, go. Those who've been hurt by divorce or separation, women who were hurt by men, hurt by your father, hurt by your baby's father, come out in Jesus' name. Hurt by men who took advantage of you and left you. I command the demons of hurt and deep hurt to go. In the name of Jesus, leave now. Anger. Come on out of there, anger. Anger, you spirits of anger, you demon of anger. Those who are angry at what happened to them. Come out, you demon of anger, I hate them. You spirit of hatred, come out of there, hatred. Hatred of men, go. Hatred of women, go. Hatred of your mother, your father. Hatred of the church. Hatred of God. Hatred, come out of there. Hate, hatred, wrath, spite revenge, retaliation, and even murder. Come out, I'll kill them. I want to kill them for what they did to me. You demon, lying demon, manifest and go. Leave in the name of Jesus. Come on out, go. Anger, hatred, rage, wrath, murder, revenge, retaliation. Come out of there. Come out of there. I'll get even with them. Vengeance belongs to God. I command those demons to go. Leave in Jesus' name. Leave. Come on, manifest and go. Anger, bad memories, painful memories, can't forget the past. You demons of unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, revenge, retaliation come out. You demons of unforgiveness go. Hard time forgiving people leave in the name of Jesus. Come on out. Come on out unforgiveness. Come on out root of bitterness. Root of bitterness. Bitterness. Bitter. Come on out of gall. Bitter wormwood. Get out. Get out in Jesus' name. Leave. Leave. 
leave, leave, you're defeated. I come against all witchcraft. I command demons of witchcraft that would try to come into their lives. I command witchcraft, sorcery, and divination to come out in the name of Jesus. I come against spirits of Freemasonry that are in your family's bloodline. I command all Masonic oaths and Masonic curses to be broken. And I command demons of Eastern Star and Freemasonry to come out. I command all the witchcraft in your bloodline through Freemasonry. I command spirits of death, death, hell, the grave, premature death, destruction, come out of there. Come out, destruction. I command demons of sickness, infirmity, disease, high blood pressure, come out, diabetes, stroke, cancer, heart attack, kidney failure, come out, bone problems, come out in the name of Jesus. Leave now. Leave now by the blood of Jesus. You must go. You must go. Come out, go. All spirits of sickness, disease, infirmity, come out. Spirit of arthritis, rheumatism, pain, back pain, uh, stomach pain, chest pain. I come against demons of asthma, psoriasis, hay fever, sinus problems. Come out of there in Jesus' name. Go. I come against demons of scoliosis and crooked spine. I come against demons in your spine. Come out of the back. Go. All demons of scoliosis, crooked spine, leave paralysis. Go in the name of Jesus. Leave by the power of God. I come command demons of lupus to come out. You demon of lupus that would attack women, come out of there in Jesus' name. Go. Demons of lupus, come out of there in Jesus' name. I command all spirits of infection, all spirits of sickness, come out. All spirits of death and cancer and heart attack and stroke, come out. I command demons to come out your kidney, your liver, your spleen, your back, your spine, your chest, your lungs, your heart, your throat, wherever they may be hiding in your intestines in your body. I command those spirits of infirmity, sickness, and disease to leave in the name of Jesus. I rebuke demons of sickness and disease and I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost to leave. Come out of there. Come out. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Premature death. Come on out of there. Death through car accident. Death accidental death. I command the spirits of stroke. Come out in Jesus name. I command you to go in the name of Jesus every demon of sickness infirmity leave leave lupus manifest and go you're defeated by the blood of Jesus you're defeated by the blood of Jesus go 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 I command spirits causing itching I command spirits causing bad skin, psoriasis, eczema. Come out of there in the name of Jesus. I come against deaf and dumb spirits. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. I command spirits of, uh, of deaf and dumb, blindness, cataracts, bad eye problems, bad eyesight. Leave in Jesus' name. Demons that affect your hearing or your eyesight. I command to leave in the name of Jesus. I command spirits of herpes and, and AIDS and sexually transmitted diseases I command those spirits of AIDS and death to come out of you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost I release the blood of Jesus and healing upon every person in this room in Jesus name go 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 you're defeated leave 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 all you spirits of sickness and infirmity and disease Come on out of there. L leave in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I cast you out by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I come against demons of pride and Leviathan. I come against spirits of pride in your family. I come against demons of arrogance, haughtiness, pride, little pride, vanity, ego, selfishness, self-pity, self-exaltation, self-promotion, competition. I come against the whole kingdom of pride and rebellion. I command the spirit of Leviathan. I command your scales to be ripped and I rebuke you and cut you asunder in Jesus name. I come against demons that keep them from praying. Won't let them pray. Won't let them fast. Won't let them read the Bible. I come against demons in your mind of confusion. I come against spirits of insanity, mind control, end time mind control. I command spirits of schizophrenia, double mindedness to leave. I command spirits of Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, forgetfulness. I command demons of migraine headaches. Come on. You demons causing migraine headaches. Leave. I break mind, bind 
blinding, mind blinding, mind pressure demons. Come out. Come out their mind, you demons of causing headaches. That's right, leave. You spirits of migraine, you demons causing tormenting headaches. I command spirits of mental pressure, mental breakdown, nervous breakdown, confusion, forgetfulness, insanity, madness. Leave their minds. Come out. I break the tentacles of mind control and I command the spirits of mind control. I break the tentacles of octopus and squid spirits. I command them to be rebuked in the name of Jesus. I command every demon that would attack your forehead, the sides of your head, the top of your head, the back of your head. I command demons to come out of your mind. Come on, mind control. I break mind control and end time mind control spirits in Jesus' name. Leave. 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 I come against spirits in your tongue, your, your speech, spirits of cursing, profanity. I command spirits of blasphemy, gossip, backbiting, murmuring, complaining. I come against demons that operate through the tongues of people. I command spirits of religion. I command religious demons to come out. Demons that were picked up in false religion or false churches. I come against control from your pastor. I come against any demon of being controlled by the leadership of the church. I break this demon of control, manipulation, and domination. Jezebel, come out. Come out, Jezebel. Jezebel, you are defeated in Jesus' name. I come against spirits of religious control, religious mind control, fear of leadership, control by leadership. I come against all spirits and cults and false religions in the name of Jesus. I come against demons of Islam. I come against spirits of Muhammad. I come against demons of anyone that's been involved in Islam or Jehovah's Witness or false religion in the name of Jesus. I break any spirits of Hinduism. I command those demons of reincarnation and lying, seducing spirits to come come out in the name of Jesus I come against spirits of darkness and confusion and deception and delusion I come against the spirits of antichrist I command in time demons to leave of delusion in Jesus name go 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 come on spirits of restlessness can't sleep at night insomnia no rest unable to rest unable to sleep I come against demons of nervousness tension worry anxiety and pressure Come out, demons of pressure, worry, anxiety, and nervousness because of your job, because of finances, because of your children, because of your situation. I command those spirits to go in the name of Jesus. Use demons of worry, tension, anxiety, pressure. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Those who worry and those who are depressed, come out. You demons of worry, anxiety, leave. In the name of Jesus, you're defeated. You're defeated. I come against demons of sadness that come in the holidays. I come against demons of sadness that come around Christmas and spirits of loneliness that come during the holidays. I come against depression that comes around Thanksgiving because of, of you not, of you're being alone or not having a lot of friends. I command those demons to leave in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Come out. Go. Go, come on, go, 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 leave. Every demon I've called, you manifest and go. You cannot stay. Deliverance is the children's bread. You were defeated on the cross of Calvary. We take authority over you in the name of Jesus. I loose the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I use apostolic power, apostolic authority. In the name of Jesus, we have power and authority to tread upon all serpents and scorpions. I command every serpent, every scorpion, every spider, every frog, everything that represents the enemy, every animal spirit, every cat, every dog, every wolf, everything that's represented by the enemy on the animal kingdom, I command those demons to come out. Those crab spirits, those spirits of the waters and of the sea, I command every marine demon that would hide in the lives of people to come out. Every mermaid spirit, every leviathan spirit, every spirit of Rahab, every creature from the sea, in the name of Jesus, I command you to manifest and go. Every lust marine spirit, I break the powers of marine spirits and I command these demons to manifest and leave in the name of Jesus of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost we take authority over you and we command you to go we command you to leave in the name of Jesus I command spirits of strife division arguing 
quarreling, fighting between husband and wife. I command demons of divorce and separation, marital breakdown and marriage breaking spirits to manifest and go. I command spirits of Ahab and Jezebel and destruction of the family priesthood to come out in the name of Jesus. I command the demon of strife between believers and, and the spirits of backsliding and worldliness and carnality to come out. All you demons of backsliding, worldliness, carnality, leave in Jesus' name. I command spirits of apostasy and rebellion against the word of God to leave in Jesus' name. I come against poverty, lack, debt, financial bondage, demons that affect your finances, come out. I command demons that block your blessings, come out. I command curses of, of poverty and lack and slavery and bondage. Can't find a job, can't keep a job, can't prosper, uh, no prosperity, leave in Jesus' name. I command those spirits of poverty, lack, debt, financial bondage, gambling. I command spirits of smoking, alcohol, drug addiction, nicotine to come out your throat, your stomach, your tongue. I command every demon of addiction. Come on out addiction. Addiction that comes through rejection. Come out of there. All addiction to food, caffeine, nicotine, addiction to drugs, cocaine, crack. I command marijuana, all of that to leave. Cigarettes, smoking, leave in the name of Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost I cast you out in Jesus name and I command you to go come on our spirits of occultism leave witchcraft leave in Jesus name I cover every person in this building with the blood of Jesus and father I thank you for great breakthroughs and and great deliverances and those spirits must leave leave come out come out go you cannot stay you're defeated you're defeated, you're defeated, you're defeated, you're defeated. We plead the blood of Jesus against you. Come on, rejection, you can't stay. Come on, rebellion, you can't stay. Come on, bitterness, root of bitterness, you can't stay. Spirits of perfection, lead. Perfection, everything has to be perfect before I do it. I command those demons of perfection and perfectionism to come out in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You are defeated, you are defeated. You spirits of distrust. I don't trust anybody. Go. Distrust. I can't trust anybody. Come on, you spirit of distrust. Can't trust your mate. Can't trust your pastor. Can't trust your leader. Come on out, distrust. Spirits of suspicion. Always suspicious of everything and everybody. I command the spirit of suspicion and distrust to leave in the name of Jesus. Go. Go, go, paranoia, envy, jealousy, leave. Envy, jealousy, paranoia, come out of there in the name of Jesus. Envy, jealousy, and paranoia, go. All demons of paranoia, leave. All demons of envy, leave. All demons of jealousy, leave. Jealous of other people, come out. In the name of Jesus, I command failure to come out. And I break the automatic failure mechanism. Every time you attempt to do something, you fall. Something happens, you fail at it. I break the automatic failure mechanism. I break it. I command spirits of failure and frustration to leave in the name of Jesus. Come out of there. Every demon of automatic failure failure mechanism and I command the spirits of memory recall that always make you remember bad things that happened to you at certain times in your life I come against those anniversary spirits that visit you at the same time every year those anniversary demons of depression and those anniversary spirits that come around your birthday that come around the holiday that come around a certain time in your life when someone died to vex you I command those demons to leave you in the the name of Jesus come out I break the cycle I break the cycle I break the cycle and I loose you from the assignments of hell in the name of Jesus come on devils you're defeated deliverance is the children's bread it belongs to the people of God and in the name of Jesus we take authority over every strong man in stronghold and we command you to leave now. We command the people to be delivered, to be cleansed, and to be healed in Jesus' name. Come on, fear. 
All fear go, all lust go, all rejection go, all pride go, all rebellion go, all sickness and disease go, all death and destruction go, all mind control go, all confusion and schizophrenia go. We've called you by your name. You have no right to stay. You cannot hold on. We break the arm and the teeth of the wicked. We shatter your power. We rebuke and dry up your strength and we command you to leave in Jesus' name. Go. Go by the blood of Jesus, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father, for your healing power and for your delivering power. Lord, I pray for a mighty cleansing to come to your church, to your body, that your church will be cleansed and purged of evil spirits. I lose the spirit of fire, the spirit of burning. The spirit of judgment against the kingdoms of hell. And I thank you, Lord, that you're purging your people and cleansing your people from all unclean spirits. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for doing it. Go, go now. I lose healing now upon every sick body. Healing upon your body. In the name of Jesus. Now put your hand on your mind with those. I pray for your minds and every spirit that operates against your mind. I command it to go as you lay hands upon your head. Any demon of mind control, any spirit operating in the mind of confusion and vexation and tormenting the mind and the thought life, by the laying on of your hands, I command that thing to leave your mind, leave your head and your brain and your thought life in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Put your hand on your, on your throat. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everything in the throat, their tongue, from, the, from where their hands are all the way through their head, including their, their mouth, their tongue, their lips, their ears, their eyes. And I command every spirit that would operate in their throat or in their mouth in the name of Jesus to come out. I command you to go now in Jesus' name. Put your hand on your chest. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority of every demon that would operate in the chest area, the lungs. In the name of Jesus, the breathing area, I command to go. Any blockage, any obstruction in that area, in the heart area, put your hand on your heart. I command every demon in the heart, every demon operating against their heart, any demon of heart attack, any spirit operating in their heart, in Jesus' name, I command to come out their heart and their chest in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you. Put your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command every spirit in the stomach area that is not of God to come out. Any spirit of sickness, infirmity, fear, lust that would operate in the stomach area and the organs, including the kidneys, the liver, the spleen. Father, I thank you all the way to their back and their spine, Lord. Let your anointing go into that part of their body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Put your hand on your thighs. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for their, their, their area, their loins, the thighs, including their sexual area, Father. Father, from this part of the body all the way up, I pray for cleansing and all the way down through their legs and their feet and their bones and their muscles, their circulatory system, their nervous system, their skeletal system, their hormones, their glands. In the name of Jesus, I command every demon that would operate in any parts of these bodies to leave now and to go in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for setting your people free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus cleansing power and fire let it burn cleanse and rebuke all the powers of darkness and all the powers of hell in jesus name hallelujah i want the altar workers as soon as you can to come and stand here on the front you can keep praying people keep receiving the anointing is here just take a deep breath and let those things go amen father we thank you for deliverance and cleansing and we pray for everyone in this building. Pray for your hand of deliverance and your protection to be upon them. I cover everyone in this building with the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you for cleansing them and delivering them from every assignment of darkness and every assignment of hell. In Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for right now for the word of God to cleanse and strengthen them. I pray for them to be filled 
with the Holy Spirit, Father, that every place that has been emptied out by the power of God, Lord, would be filled with your spirit, with your word, and with your anointing, and with your grace today, Father. Lord, I bless your people. I break the assignments of hell and darkness off of them. I lose supernatural protection and deliverance on you. I pray for angels to surround your home, your car, your life. I bind all accidents, death, and destruction during this holiday season. I bind all drunk driving and people out of control, all bullets and guns and any robberies or any attacks on your bank accounts, on your bodies. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over the powers of hell. And Father, as, as a pastor of this local assembly, I use the authority you've given me to cover every one of the persons in this building with your blood and with your power and with your fire during this holiday season. Let no evil thing cleave to them. Let no evil plan come to pass. I break every assignment and curse of the enemy and every spoken word against your life. I break the power of negative, critical, bitter, death curses spoken against you and I speak blessing, favor, grace and mercy on your life in Jesus name. I take a apostolic authority over all the plans of darkness and the plans of hell and I rebuke you. I rebuke you over every member of Crusaders Ministries. Lord, give them supernatural protection, supernatural deliverance, supernatural grace. Let it be upon them, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 If you want to stand, you can for a few moments. You don't have to. If you're still getting deliverance, it's okay. If you want to stand with me and just pray and worship for a few moments. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. I need a musician just to play something here because I want to pray for some more people. Thank you, Jesus. How many know deliverance is important for us as people of God? And I have prayed for you and believe God that during this holiday season, say no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I take the shield of faith. I quench every fiery dart of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit that's been assigned against my life. I use my faith and I cancel every assignment of hell against my life in Jesus' name. Listen, people, the Lord told me months ago that many of God's people are in trouble because they don't use their authority. I mean, you've got to use your authority against the enemy. Don't use it when you get in trouble. If you do get in trouble, use it, but don't wait until something happens. You take authority over the devil and you command him you have no right to destroy my life. And you do that consistently. And the Lord spoke to me and said, many of my people are in trouble because they don't use their authority. They just wait and they're too passive. And they wait until something happens. Then when there's an emergency, they try to come to get help. But the Bible says God gives you power to tread. Say it with me. I have power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. Do you believe that today, people of God? I said, do you believe that today, people of God? Hallelujah. Lift your hands and just worship him for a moment. Pray. Hallelujah. If you're here today and you're not saved, you're not born again, you're not in church, keep worshiping people. You're backslidden. You're away from church. You're away from God. I want you to come to the front of this church all around the side and let these workers pray for you. Maybe you are saved, but you want to be a part of this church. You're not in a church. Every believer needs to be in a place where they are under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You need to be in a place of power, a place of authority, a place of the Spirit of God. You need to be around that atmosphere so you can remain strong as a believer. And if you're not in that place, you need to come right now. 
Step out wherever you are and come right now and let these workers minister to you. Let them bless you today. I know there are many of you here today. Maybe this is your first time in this service. You can come now. Let those aisles be open, Usher, so they can come. Hallelujah. Let those aisles be open so they can come. Let's clap as they begin to come. Come on. I know there are more of you. Don't, don't leave this building. Come on, we're praying for them to come. Come, come. We're calling. We're calling them in. Come. If your life is not right with God, come. You're backslidden away from God, away from the church. You've gotten away from the things of the Spirit. You've gotten away from the things of God. You've gotten away from worship. You've gotten away from prayer. You've gotten away from the supernatural. You've gotten away from deliverance. You've gotten away from the prophetic. God is calling you back. God is calling you home. He loves you. And by His grace, you're here today. You're not here by accident. If you're in the balcony, we'll wait for you to come down and just come down the front. Young men come. How many know God is calling the men to come to Zion? Men, be a man of God. Young women, families, come. Husbands, bring your wives and bring your children. Oh, come on, keep coming. Let's clap as they come. Keep coming, keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, keep coming. Come on, they're coming, keep coming. You won't be the only one. Keep coming, keep coming. Don't be ashamed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, there's some more coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank God for every soul. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Keep that aisle open, people. I need that aisle to remain open for them to come. This is an altar call. Come on, come on, come on. If you're in a church with no power, you need to get out of that church. I said, if you're in a church where there's no power, you need to get out of that place. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. It's not about sermons and songs. It's about the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't stay in a dead place and let your soul dry up. Get around the anointing. Come on, there are more coming. Let's clap. Get around the power of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift those hands and worship him, people. Hallelujah. Any more, you can come now. We worship the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. You are worthy. Come on, tell him he's worthy today. Thank God for every miracle, every deliverance, every healing, every salvation. Oh, hallelujah. Anyone else, you need to come. Come now. This is a place of salvation. This is a place of deliverance. This is a place of forgiveness. Come, 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 if you're still here. Come, 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 come. Come on, there's some more people coming. Come on, keep worshiping. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Hallelujah. Here come three young men. Let the young men come. God's looking for men. God's calling men. 
men of God. Come on, lift those hands. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, lift your voices and just worship him today. He delivered you from some things today. We worship him and love him because he delivers us, sets us free. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are worthy. 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 We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I speak shalom, peace, shalom, prosperity, shalom, favor. I bless them.